Hey beer tubers, this is Ryan here with something different. Uh, I decided I would try to come up with a uh, segment of my vlog that would be different from all the other vlogs you see on YouTube, at least for the uh, beer reviewers. So I thought, how about uh, beer trash? Um, I'm just going to go over the beers that I've been uh, drinking each uh, week and uh, just give little comments on them instead of doing you know full reviews a lot of the stuff they aren't San Diego beers or California beers which is what I like to focus on review wise for this channel so I thought I'd uh, add this as a, uh, a segment to my channel so uh, I recycle all the bottles and um, but before I throw them out I thought I'd just go over some of them for you I have uh, well a bottle of Planet Yell there um, this one was getting a little old. It was bottled on uh, 621, and uh, it's been sitting in my fridge for a while. So I thought, well, I need to drink these up. I had a couple of them, so I'm actually going to save these bottles for uh, next time I do some homebrew. If I'm going to bottle up, so there's the other one from 621. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Le Fin du Monde. Uh, I've been meaning to try this for a long time. It wasn't until Chris at Beer Gate Nation. Uh, did a review on it and then I'm like oh okay I gotta I, I gotta try this now it's time so I uh, had that one last night definitely a good triple recommend it also last night I had a bottle of Carl Strauss's big barrel double IPA um, this one's holding up real good it's been out for a little while um, an excellent IPA from Carl Strauss probably the best beer they make by far I'd have to say that I have at least tried um, all the other beers are fairly decent but um they're the oldest brewery in San Diego, so check them out. If you can get a bottle of this, uh, do so. Um, let's see. This one I've been sending out as extras in some of my trades. I bought a case of it at Costco. It's Ballast Points Yellowtail Pale Ale. Um, it's actually a Kolsch, uh, so you're getting a German style Pale Ale. Um, this is the first Kolsch I've ever had, and I don't know how it compares stylistically with the traditional German beers. Um, I might have to get a hold of those at some point, but um, as far as light beers go, I mean, this is my go-to right now. Excellent summer beer. Just uh, very tasty for such a light beer. Um, I've yet to be disappointed by anything from Ballast Point so far. Um, recommended this one. Hope you enjoy it, Chris. Um, Port Brewing's Hop 15. This is... Uh, this is their double IPA that they bottle up, and it's a, just a fantastic beer. The nose is very uh, tropical fruits with the hops. Um, definitely one of the better IPAs I've had. Uh, port Brewing, they also have their uh, Pizza Port uh, restaurants, which there are now four of. And this is similar to Pizza Port Carlsbad's Poor Man's IPA, which, although the, I think the Poor Man's IPA is actually better than this one but uh, and I did get carbonation with the bottle which is something I didn't know if I was gonna get or not as Port Brewing has been known lately for having some carbonation issues with their beers but another beer I'd recommend if you can get it um, this is Ithaca Beer Company Pills I uh, got this one as a extra in a trade um, it was okay um, it looks like they're not even brewing it anymore, but um, anyway, refreshing summer beer. Another uh, Ballast Point Yellowtail Pale. And lastly, this is the one I just did my first video beer review on, to get a better shot of the label this time. Stone Sublimely Self-Righteous. Um, I have to grab some more of this. This is pretty, pretty tasty uh, beer. Another beer recommended. Gave it a uh, solid B. Um, if you're uh, an IPA lover, definitely worth a try. Um, maybe it'll get you over to the dark side of uh, beers, which I definitely prefer the darker beers, although I do like um, IPAs more nowadays. So that's it for this week's uh, beer trash. Um, we'll see if this becomes a regular segment or not. Give me some uh, comments, feedback, let me know. Uh, cheers.